And we're off and running into the first half. Gus, it looks like they're going with the minimum. Grimes handles the pass. The sophomore. This guy is a real talent, a great passer and scorer. And what's great about this kid is his ability to find the open man and also put up some points. It's a skill that not enough guards possess. Out on the left wing. Thanks for joining us here on CBS Sports. Gus Johnson along with Bill Raftery. the menu tonight, folks, between the Nevada Wolf Pack and the UNLV Running Rebels. And here we have our two players who are the focus of our Star Watch for today's game. And there are the starting lineups for each team. The starting five, these kids are the tone setters. Coach expects them to set the tone as soon as the ball is tossed up. And we're just about ready to tip it off and watch these two teams write another chapter in the storied rivalry. These are two the teams are ready to go, and we're ready for the tip. And after all the anticipation, we're underway. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart the missed shot nice to have you along with us tonight Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside I'm Brad Nessler we got a good one going takes the fadeaway jumper sweet fadeaway Jay he's too important to this team to be picking up fouls like that Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. On the left side. Down inside. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. Nails the J. Moving it around the perimeter. They get that rejected. Let's take a second look at this three. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Gave it up. Tries for two. No good from the field. We're at the three minute mark. They work the perimeter. They come with a double team to stop it. Now with 10 to shoot. 
Defense breaks down again. Nobody rotates over from the help side. Now the high screen. Wood receives the pass. For two, sinks the shot. He's getting lost on every move. We got to see more heart on defense. Welcome to CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball. Today's game is between the Louisville Cardinals and the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Before we get to the tip-off, let's check in with two players who everyone has their eyes on. And of course, Bill, our starting five. Everyone wants to be in the starting five, Gus. And let's have a look at the keys to the game for these teams here today. If they can get these things accomplished, they're going to have a good shot at the win today. The Demon Deacons get possession, and away we go. In the post. Fired. He can't get it to go. Takes the rebound. The Cardinals set up into their four around one offense. Uh, if you have a good postman, it's very tough to defend. Everything centers on him. Davis handles the feed. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, thanks for joining us tonight. Gus Johnson here alongside Bill Raftery. In the post, in the lane, off the mark, rips it down. On the wing. He missed it, goes up high with two hands and pulls it down. The Cardinals are doing a great job of controlling the pace of this game. I'll tell you, if you make the opposition play at your pace, it can really get them out of their comfort zone. First team foul. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really got to know your limitations, Gus. Here's another solid junior bill. Gus, you look at your juniors as third-year players who have been there. And as a coach, you can rely on them for their experience and ability to guide the less experienced players on the team. He got them both. Now they work it around the perimeter. Jump shot. Squared up on the catch. Got his puppies in order. And this hometown crowd is showing their appreciation. Look at them. Up on their feet, wanting more. Foul on the play. He got the bucket to go, and he'll have the chance to add one from the strike. What composure. Take the hit and complete the sequence. Steps to the line in hopes of capping a three-point play. Is that helpful? He misses it. Wichita State Shockers. And before we go any further, let's check in on our star watch. Dick. What's the starting five look like, you might ask? Well, whether it's a big game or a small game, your starting five has got to be ready to go, Dick. I tell you, the starting five is always your five best players. That's one thing a lot of people don't understand. And it's time for the tip-off. Tips up, and the game is on, baby. On the outside, here's a double team. 
Wade picks up the foul. That layup will count for two plus the harm. Hey, he sized the defender up and protected the ball going in for the layup. Boy, was that beautiful. Here's another solid junior. Dick. Knowing there are guys on your team who know what you want and know what it takes to be successful is a big bonus. Routine. And they go into their motion offense, working with four around one here. I tell you, the four around one, spacing's a key. You better have good spacing, and you better have people on the interior that can score with their back to the basket. If you got a big guy who can post up inside and who has passing ability, he's going to create opportunities for the guys on the perimeter. Uncharacteristic mistake by the senior. The Shockers are on the run. Too much. That's a foul. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. Hey, a player senior year is such an emotional one. The key is to stay focused and not get caught up on being in your last year of collegiate basketball. If you focus on the right things, win or lose, it'll be a memorable experience. Makes the first shot. Shot, no good. There's a double team waiting there. And up. And in and out. They work it around the perimeter. Here's the three ball. Jumper didn't look pretty. I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. There they come with a double team to stop it. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Number 24 is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled to prevent the easy basket. <laughs> 